opening up the card, we got Sergei Morozov taking on Journey Newsom. Sergei Morozov, 18 and 5 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He is alternating wins and losses. He's taking on Journey Newsom, 2 2 and 1 in his last five. He should be 3 and 2, though, because there is a win in there that was overturned because he, uh, he did some illegal drugs, Jacob. So they took that win away from him. This is going to be an interesting fight. I understand a lot of people love Sergey Morozov here. A lot of people love him. He's a busy striker, and he averages about three takedowns per fight. He's pretty decent everywhere. But Journey Newsom looked awesome in his last fight. The only reason I'm a little hesitant, dude, in his last fight, you can't, you can't deny that he didn't look awesome in his last fight. He came forward, did the striking, got the takedowns. He looked really, really good. And Fernie Garcia who was just your lock of the week, is decent. And Journey Newsom worked him really well. He went back to his wrestling roots. He's a wrestler that found power in his hands, so he's just been chasing power for a while. But once he works in the wrestling, he looks pretty good. So I still think Sergey Morozov wins, but it's a little nerve-wracking because Journey Newsom in his last fight, that, one, that version of him can beat Sergey Morozov. What do you think? Yeah, the, the thing about that fight is, yes, he did look good, but he looked good because Fernie was kind of walking him down, but just kind of looking at him. I mean, Fernie was so low volume in that fight, just kind of walked, following him along the fence. So Journey was able to keep distance, do it a lot. He threw a lot of spinning back kicks, but he did look, I mean, his striking did look improved. He had that two-year layoff. He did look improved. He got the takedowns you mentioned, but I feel like that if he carries over that game plan to this one, it's going to be a Morozo fight because Journey not doing much, just kind of bants around the outside. That's going to give Morozov the opportunity to get his own takedowns, and he's probably the little bit better striker. But I agree, this is closer than the I'd say because Morozov sometimes doesn't. He I don't want to say he abandons his wrestling, but he's kind of comfortable on his feet, and he will get into some brawls. And if you're getting into a brawl where Journey Newsom, this all of a sudden turns into a 50-50 fight. So I think Morozov needs to come in, assert the takedowns early, not mess around on the feet. Even though I think he does have a little bit of advantage as far as like technicality on the feet, but if this stays on the feet and Journey be able to stuff, stuff a few takedowns. You know, Morozo can take a shot, but how many shots can he really take, especially with the way Newsom's throwing lately? No, I, I hear you, man. That's why I didn't bet this fight. I know a lot of people love Sergey Morozov, and he's going to be a tent bolt to a lot of parlays. I get it. He's a more talented guy. He should win this fight, but literally, Journey's last fight, was he looked incredible. So we're on the uh, same side of the pick here. I'm a little less confident than you are, and we do have a super chat. Big DV. DV says, hi, guys couple of emojis. I saw Angelo's last video saying live stream was today. Yeah, we're doing it on Monday. Got to do a little work travel. So we're doing it on Monday instead of Tuesday. He's, he's saying it's work travel, but it's a colonoscopy. That's an incorrect statement. Thank you very much for the super chat. It is genuinely appreciated. Guys, I do have a blue microphone. The room is empty. I'm moving. The furniture's gone. There's an echo. Deal with it. Whoa. DraftKings, 9,300 to 6,900. 9,300 is quite a bit. You think he's getting the takedown? You know, it's funny. Is I, I feel more comfortable with him betting-wise in a parlay than I do 9,300 in DraftKings. I think that's a little overvalued, but like as far as I, – I, and, you know, the caveat is this is I, I expect him to win the fight, but I don't know how much he's going to score for DraftKings. So that's why I would feel more comfortable betting on him than $9,300, but – you know, if he's starting to lay on some takedowns, they, they could add up quickly because Journey's a wrestler and he can get back to his feet. So they could add up quickly. Yeah, they could. It's definitely, uh, I don't know if I'm going to spend that money. There's a couple other people that are probably worth it. Mike Salzudo, no, Salzarulo. I'm a premium member, $2 super chat. He says he appreciates us. Thank you very much, Mike. Genuinely, genuinely Boy. appreciated. You're just telling everybody I'm getting a colonoscopy and they all believe it. Well, I mean, it's about that time. You haven't done that yet? I think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to do it. I, I, I'm told you're supposed to do it every, every three months. I go, I, go, I, go every, I go every three months. You bought the kit. You bought the kit. You bought a right. kit at the store. You gave yourself your own uh, colon. Yeah, I mean, they have premium packages. You can, you can go in there once a week, really. <laughs> Get cleaned out. Anyway, Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line. If you don't know what that is, it's Daily Fantasy. You just say more or less on that strike line. And if you are right, you can triple your money 62 to 45. I think it's a more and more. I think this fight likely goes the distance or close to it. And I think they're just 
back and forth, brawling, smacking each other around, and that likely becomes a more more. What do you think? Yeah, I can, I can definitely see the more more. I think that's a more comfortable play. Yeah. Oh, good. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Anything else to add before we move on here? Uh, no. You know, I just uh, worried a little <laughs> bit about the Morozov, uh, you know, chest here. Hopefully, he cleans that up before the fight, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And it's a little, a little flaky there. It's Nobody with chest hair wins. The, actually, the mustache, the the lit, legit mustache, uh, not glitch, but the curse is a real thing. We have not had somebody that just has a single mustache win. Um, oh, the guy that beat Fernie did, but he almost because you're, so. you're like he so almost lost. yeah. There, the, there it is. There he it is. Almost lost. So it's a real thing. Don't you gotta shave that shit off. 